It's Gene retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And the first thing I was going to say is I was going to apologize for this lighting. I do have a uh, ticket into the software agency, seeing if we can fix it. But anyway, the light adjusts and right now there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm doing a deep dive into 2009 and quickly... 2009, I was surprised at how much music I didn't know from that particular year. And it's because I went back to school and I was uh, studying nursing and I was busy studying for the NCLEX exam. So, you know, I was busy that year and I just didn't uh, hear as much music as I did. Like I'm doing 2008 right now. I know a lot of music from 2008, and then 09 is just like a vacuum. So let's hit them crooked vultures. I've never heard them or seen them before. And although I am had planned to just do the audio recordings, I kind of want to see these guys because they're a super group. So here's Dave Grohl, Josh Holm, and um, John Paul Jones, and um, the fourth guy, I forget his name, that uh, is part of the live band. And this is New Fang live, so let's go ahead and check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Grohl on beer. On beer. And I'm on Coke. Coca-Cola. On guitar, Mr. Alan Johannes. Okay. John Paul Jones. He's such a good bass player, oh my lord. They like you as much as I do. And I'm your host, I'm Joshua.
That's some classic rock vibes going on there. Thank you so much, man. Before I comment on that, I just thought while watching that, maybe we can have a fun little contest here. Of those three guys in that super group, I've seen one of them in concert. Can you guess who it is? Well, guess who it is. And first of all, I'll know that you stayed till the end of the video. So you'll get some extra cred for that. And down there, uh, make your guess as to who, um, you know, who, who I've seen in concert. And then make a couple recommendations of people that you want to hear on the channel. And if you win, then your recommendation is one that I think I can do. Uh, if I don't do it, it would be because um, if it's someone I'm really familiar with, then I, I can't react, right? I cannot react. I'm just like, okay, I know these guys. Or if it's somebody I really dislike, um, there is music in the 21st century I don't like, and I just, I don't hit it. You know, I, I, I one time I was recording a... Um, reaction and i just stopped the record button right in the middle it was a lana del rey video and i hated that video the song was okay but the video sucked and uh <laughs> i just failed i just hit stop so i'll do that once in a while i don't want to i'm here to defend the 21st century not to bash it but there's terrible terrible music in any era right in any genre it doesn't matter so the music I grew up with, I can name a hundred songs that were horrible. But anyway, um, okay, so Queens of the Stone Age, Nirvana, Led Zeppelin. You got players from those three bands and, of course, the Foo Fighters. And, and uh, so this sounded the most like Queens of the Stone Age, which I had read that that was the case. And it makes sense because... Josh probably wrote the song, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. He wrote the song. I'm not going to talk about the lyrics much. It's just it's about New Start, uh, New Fang. He said something about he got a mohawk when he was in high school, and his uncle said, ah, New Fang or something. And uh, so there's a uh, – uh, but then when they talk about the teeth and things, there's a little bit of a vampire thing going on in here. Uh, but the lyrics are not deep. They're just fun lyrics. And I, I liked them. I read them in advance. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, like I say, I heard some slide guitar in there. But Dave Grohl kills it on the drums. Jonesy, who's looking great. Such a wonderful bass player. And then, of course, Josh Holm on the vocals and the, and the guitar and the other guy on the guitar doing kind of the slide thing. Pretty cool. So, again, it was a mix of classic rock and 21st century vibes because Queens of the Stone Age are very modern, but they're rooted in the old music. So it's nice having uh, one foot in each camp. So I loved it. I'll give it an A. It was a wonderful performance. And thanks for joining me here. Hit that like or subscribe button. And if you um, like what I'm doing, that, that's what I would really appreciate. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.